It's Neil Anthony here live in uh, in Barrie in my home studio and today is actually a very special day uh, that is going on. It is Giving Back Tuesday and uh, there's a great organization uh, that is giving back right now. It is Hockey Helps the Homeless. Uh, you may have seen the shirt that I'm wearing. It's a Stay the Puck Home. Uh, joining me right now, Ryan from Hockey Helps the Homeless. How are you, man? Awesome. Thanks very much for having me, Neil. Oh, dude, I, I, thanks for joining me, man. I, I mean, this initiative that you've got going on right now sounds like it is just blowing up. Yeah. It, it, you know what? It's been incredible. We knew the hockey community rallies behind our initiatives, our pro-ams, typically, as we're able to host those. We've never done an apparel campaign. We've never done something like this before. So uh, not only did our current supporters support it, uh, some new folks in the hockey community have jumped on board, and then the general public has has taken to it too. So it's been wonderful, better than we could have expected. Now, this was a limited time run. Have you extended everything because of the uh, you know the support? We have not extended it. It's going to end uh, Friday at noon. So noon Eastern, if you haven't got your gear yet, order it before Friday at noon. The reason for that, though, is because we have to start to get the orders printed and shipped out next week because people are clamoring for their stuff. They want to post it. They see some friends and family posting their gear. Uh, so we got to cut it off at a very specific date so we can push all the orders out. Right. Um Let's talk about Hockey Helps the Homeless because maybe a lot of people don't know about sure. uh, your organization and what you do. Uh, you do have a yearly event here in Barrie at the Holly Rec Center. And wherever you hold the events, you, you're helping that community, right? That's right. So we exist to raise money in whatever way, shape, or form we can for local homeless support agencies, Canada's most vulnerable residents. So we do that typically when we can by hosting Pro-Am Charity Hockey Tournaments. So yes, we've got one every March. We were actually just able to tuck it in under the wire. It was, I think, about a week after that uh, things right. started to shut down here uh, with respect to COVID-19. So we were able to host the event in Barrie on March 6th and support Red Road Lodge uh, and uh, the Busby Center are the two organizations that we support in Barrie. And then, uh, and then things changed. The world changed, and we had to uh, to shape shift a little bit here to figure out other ways we could support. Which started the apparel. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so for people like you, with the tournaments, all that money is going back into the local community. And how are and are you doing the same thing with the the apparel? So if yes. you if I buy in Barry, it stays in Barry, or are you kind of taking all the sales and spreading it across Canada yeah we are gonna the funds are gonna stay local so that was that's part of our mandate with our tournaments we wanted it to be part of the mandate with anything that we do and we also have local organizing committees volunteers in every city that are are pushing the program too and it, it is near and dear to them that the funds stay local so we're going to get a big hairy report at the end of this campaign <laughs> we're going to siphon it out by a postal code Right. And we are going to make sure that the sales from the hoodies and T-shirts in Simcoe County stay to uh, to support those two organizations. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, besides the apparel and obviously the tournaments, if throughout the year, what can people do uh, to support your initiative and help those in their community? Yeah, visit hockeyhelpsthehomeless.com or hhth.com. There's always opportunities there to learn more about how to get involved but there are volunteer opportunities throughout the year as i mentioned the berry event takes place in march so we're really ramping up for three four five months in advance of that event there's uh, local organizing committees to join there's game day volunteers always in need of game day volunteers corporate sponsors etc and then as we continue to not be able to host our events live other initiatives like state of puck home will start to crop up uh, too, so there'll be ways to get involved with them. So I, I feel like the wheels have already been turning for something after this. Yeah, we're looking <laughs> at virtual hot stoves. We're looking at how do we leverage our network of supporters across the country, our network of about 300 alumni, alumni and female Olympians across the country that are used to coming out supporting us on the ice. How do they support us off the ice? And 
Uh, Stay the Puck Home has now created enough awareness for Hockey Helps the Homeless that it's really increased our, our footprint and our awareness in the community. How do we continue to leverage that to raise more funds? So those, those conversations are always happening, but they're happening now more than ever. Right. Um, so hopefully next year, we, the tournament keeps going next March. Uh, explain to people how it actually breaks down and uh, how when you sign up, what actually happens. Yeah, so corporate sponsors sign up. Typically, you can sign up as an individual or as a team. You are on a team with 15 friends, family, colleagues, coworkers, whatever that looks like. Everyone fundraises to participate. Right. And then it's a tournament style. So we start the uh, festivities off with a pro draft. So based on team fundraising ranking, you get to choose who you're going to share the ice with the next day, who's the NHL alumni on your team. We host that at uh, the South Shore Center uh, right on the the lake there. It's beautiful. And then on game day at Holly Community Center, you play three games, tournament style, and uh, it's followed by breakfast, lunch, dinner. The entire day is catered for you. You get to mix and mingle with the NHL alumni that you grew up watching. It's a a blast, and it's for a great cause. That's awesome. Uh, So tell us who – who are some of the biggest names that uh, you have involved in this? So that who you know, if you have a team, who you could be skating along? Yeah, Mike Gartner is our honorary chair, so he's been involved with our program for a very, very long time since late '90s, early 2000s, and so he's always involved. He sits on our committee as well. Uh, locals like Shane Corson, uh, Mike gets his friends like Gary Roberts and Scott Thornton and Mike Krushelniski and George LaRock and with us in Barry, but in other cities across the country too uh, are always involved so we mix up a few of the names every year but for the most part it's the same group of guys that come out and show their support uh, that's awesome man well I look forward to uh, chatting with you more uh, as this rolls along but as Ryan said you have till Friday to get your stay the puck home uh, t-shirt or as you can see Ryan's got the uh, the hoodie so two the hoodie to, on. To, to yep. choose from HockeyHelpsTheHomeless.com. Order yours now. Help them out and uh, help those uh, that unfortunately may not have a roof over their head like a lot of us are lucky to. Ryan, thank you so much for taking time out of your day, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate the time.